somewhere beyond our life. A warm day of Indian summer enters. Today, let us swim wildly, joyously in gratitude. Live in the sunshine, swim the sea, drink the wild air. A duckling reared in the Sahara no doubt would swim if drip, dipped in the Nile. And have we found our element? It is somewhere beyond our life. We find in ourselves a desire which no experience in this world can set aside. What is the probable explanation? We are made for another world. Were, are, will be. We cannot yet see it. When this is over, we will eat grapes from the vine, swim with sea turtles. We will laugh and talk and confess. We will. The rare and precious thing called happiness swims into focus only in retrospect. When there, it seems the rest of our life has been an aberration. While briefly there, it seems to be eternal, abiding forever and need not be examined. Now we grasp at it like drowning men. We spin in circles on the sea, and no direction is perceived. All is horizon. Our poverty of spirit finds itself adrift. And this is good. Something impels us to show our inner souls. We want to explain ourselves to other human beings. In a way, perhaps we are preparing ourselves for Judgment Day, to defend ourselves. Well known even in pagan societies, there is no defense. What's done is done. We really don't know why and never did. Since we are alive, we must do something. Before us lies the world. This is where we will swim. Once it was the purest sea, but now we must be plucked from it. We swim and swim until we are exhausted. We love you in the then, for we are dying. We love you in the now, for it does not matter if we drown. We have come to know that we are yours, you are ours. Everyone we meet is afraid of something, loves something, and has lost something. Their parables are ours. They too are adrift. You will find whom you will and pluck them out. They had but say they swam polluted waters and were stained. More, they must understand that they are dirty garments wilted in face of your holiness. This recognition requires a response. The response was given us when Jesus lovingly proclaimed, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And it was you, yourself, who is this kingdom, come to rescue and remain with us. Amen.